Hey yo guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the CX mod compiler to change any texture on the video. So this is an example of what this is like, but really it doesn't have to be the settings app. It can be Neo, it can be Content Manager, it can be Calendar, um, and even, it can even be this icon here, it can be these icons, it can be the um, back button, it can be the sound effects PAs. Really, the possibilities are yes with ACX more compiler. But let's start with something very simple. Let's just edit the background of the videos app. Alright, it's this one here, this red background. Let's change it to a different color. That's the simplest thing we could do. So, what we're going to want to do is open up your Vita shell. Um, should be somewhere. Be the cell. Yep. All right, and now you're going to want to push select and go on your computer. So once that's done, you just want to connect to your PS Vita. And this is for a bit of knowledge of the Vita, what comes in handy. You want to open the VSL folder and then find whatever LFCO file probably has the texture you want in it. So for the, um, the videos app, I know it's an MPXS10010, and it's probably one of these. Um, but most likely it's video browser plugin, so I'm gonna copy that one out. Okay. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna open up um, bitbucket.org, go to the CX small decompile page. <clears throat> Not yet, this sealed up. I'm gonna go to downloads. You want to download the latest CX Mode Decompile V6. Um, keep. <clears throat> okay, and now you want to take this one out as well, and you want to extract this file. I maybe make a folder for all this. Okay, and here we are. So now you want to open up CMD in this folder. And the first thing you want to do is decompile this video browser. So you got your DXML decompiler, um, and then video browser, and then dash D dash P. Dash D means to decompile, dash P means to process the output files. And the first time you run this, it will down your GIMCOMF. Um, so let's just do that. Alright, and now it's, now it's decompiling the video browser plugin. Okay. Now you want to open this up. Under files, you'll see the original, decompressed, and converted. You just want to open the converted one, because this is the um, files directly. And you'll see there is a bunch of backgrounds, but this is one we're after. The red, um, you know, the red background. Um, we want the file name, so it's going to take this and move it here. Now we can edit this in... Paint.net. And you basically just want to make sure you keep the same resolution, but you can change this image to basically whatever you want now. Um, for me, I'm just going to shift the color a bit. I'm going to make it like a sort of greenish color. You know, not, not like a settings app. Maybe I can make it like package install. Let's make it like a dark brown. Yeah, <laughs> um, or I can make it like a light view, like whatever you do, you just, just decide what you're going to do, you know, I'm going to say we just go with that, and now you want to save as, um, the same file name .png, and you want to make sure you save the bit depth as 8 bits. Okay, and now you want to open this up again. 
Uh, actually, you want to move this to this folder. Um, now you want to go gimcoms slash gimconv. Oops, gimconv.exe, and we'll see all these options. And you basically want to choose. Basically, you want to go gimconv. And you want to do fb whatever dot png and then dash psv index 8 and that tells it it's a psv gim file and you'll see it will output a dot gim for you right here you'll see it's pretty small if you did it right it should be tiny um, and now you just want to compress this file again so you want to go cxml decompile um, fb dot gim dash dash compress and that should create a dot z file for you and now you want to go to the video piano piazza files original and overwrite the one in here with that new one assuming that well, you can do it properly come on <laughs> original okay so yeah there we go um, and now you want to open up video, finally you want to open up the XML file, and you want to scroll, you want to find the, um, file name of the, um, that you changed, so this file, um, not the, okay, so this file here, right? You see this org size, you want to open the um, properties of this GIM file. You want to change the org size to be the size in bytes, like that. Okay, and now finally, you can compile this CXML back. So CXML decompile, um, video browser plugin slash video browser plugin xml and now video browser plugin dot lco let's see output and then dash c to say compile all right and done so now this lco should now contain all modified files so next step is to put these onto the video again so we're gonna go into here we're just gonna drop these on uxo Alright, and I'll see you on the video. Okay, so there are two ways you can apply this new model LCO. The first one is you can um, actually override it in VSO. I don't recommend doing that. You're very likely to break your console if you mess something up and end up having to reinstall the OS from safe mode, which is very annoying. Another way is you can use VSH patch, a plugin I wrote. What this does is it basically is like free patch, but for VSO. So, what you do is you install a plugin onto our style kernel. It's probably going to be an auto plugin by the time you're watching this. And yes, you've been watching it right when it came out. Alright, and once you install it, you just want to go to UXO, create a new folder. And you want to call this folder. ESH patch. Oops. New folder. You want to call this folder. Let me try to do this right. BSH patch. And there it is, and now you basically sort of mimic the same folder structure that the um, VSO had, so... App... It's in the app folder, and then there was an mpxs folder. Um, I 
except it's not 15, that's settings, it's PXS, Zozo, yep. Okay, and now all you gotta do is take the LCO, which is here, you just gotta copy it. into this folder paste alright and there it is and now it should apply immediately just open up your videos app um it'll be red here but then once it loads up we'll change the view now the way to fix it being red here is you just also patch the pixel folder file to be the same image and that would that will just switch the um, red to blue as well. But yeah, and then if you want to distribute it, you just zip the entire, like, you just zip the entire folder containing the app. You know, you'd, you'd, you'd zip this, right? And then they just need to extract that into this folder and it will work. So yeah, I'll, I'll um, leave a link to that patch I made in this video in the description if anyone's interested. I mean, it does look kind of nice, I think. Um, as simple as it is. And again, this can be used for a lot of things. This can be used to mod basically any Ike image on the Vito, change its sound effects, rename PlayStation Mobile games if you want to do it for whatever reason. Like you can even translate the Vito into other languages if you wanted to. So there's just so much you can do with a ZXML compiler. The possibilities are kind of limitless to an extent. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's the main thing. Is um that's a quick tutorial on how to you know decompile and rebuild an, uh, an LCO, making very simple modifications. You can you can do more complicated things than this. I'm sure people will work that out, but you know that's as that's as simple as it gets. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.